Mr Chair, look, it is great to take a call in this estimates debate as Minister of Health. Uh, this has been a great budget for health in New Zealand. $400 million of new money out of a total allocation across the government of a $1 billion. I mean, that is a record result of $15.9 billion in the vote. $1.7 billion across the next uh, four years. But, of course, it's not as Labor would have it just all about the money. You would have noticed in Mrs King's speech there, uh, her main theme was there'll never be enough money. Well, I can tell you in health, it never feels as if there's enough. But the fact is, we are a government that has focused on results in health. That is the key thing. And if you look at the results, you just cannot dispute those. So we've been very targeted on the areas that we think make a real difference for New Zealanders. So an extra 50,000 first specialist assessments per year, an extra 45,000 elective operations each year, an extra 5,000 doctors and nurses in the system. You know, these are real results. And if you look at the health target levels, uh, in, in terms of EDs, people getting in and out of our EDs within six hours, that's 95 per cent of people. We're immunising nearly 94 per cent of children fully immunised at eight months. Just a couple of years ago, that figure was in the 70 per cent. We're doing very well on the advice for stopping smoking, heart and diabetes checks and cancer. That has been a major success. So, you know, when Labor were in power, 760 people a year went to Australia for cancer treatment. 760. Under us, no one now goes to Australia. We've set very tight targets around that. And uh, we are delivering in terms of uh, cancer treatment for New Zealanders. We achieved our first target, which was around people being able to get their treatment started within four weeks of having all their lab tests and being ready. We achieved that. We are now aiming for the gold standard target of 62 days across the whole cancer pathway. So Annette King will tell you about some report that the Labor parties had commissioned. She talks about cuts in health. That's completely untrue. There's more money than ever. There's more money going in each year. What we have done, which Labor didn't do, is actually look at where the money needs to be spent. So we've got new models of care. We need people People being treated in primary care, uh, an emphasis on prevention and early intervention. So that's where the money has to go. What happened when Labor were in power? They doubled the health budget, but 2,000 fewer people each year got an operation. They had those people going to Australia for cancer care. They actually delivered during Annette King's time fewer op uh, first specialist assessments than ever. I do need to also take issue with some of the points that she made there. She was talking about response to Official Information Act requests. Well, actually, the more people uh, that Labor have working on those, the more they generate, the more they send the, to DHBs, the more people we're having to employ to answer the requests, the longer they're going to take. But the real point is it does make Mrs King sound a bit of a hypocrite, hypocrite because if you look back to Order. 2007, Order. or it could Order. make her sound a little no. bit like one, 2007, it took her, when she was uh, replying to an OIA on the Electoral Finance Act, 18 months to reply. 18 months! I mean, that's just not unethical. It's just not playing by the rules. It must be illegal. So for Annette King to come here and uh, argue that sort of thing, that just doesn't stack up. So there are a range of things she raised there. She was talking about bullying in the health sector and all these letters she claims she gets. Well, what she should be worried about is bullying in the Labor Party, because we know plenty of that's going on. And Mr Chai Chua is a very fine Director-General of Health, but one thing I can tell you, <laughs> he may be many things, but he's not a bully. He is doing a very good job of getting the health system into shape. Um, you know, you hear these outrageous claims from Mrs King on uh, the radio each morning, and I must say, she's a popular figure around the parliament, but um, when you hear her on the radio, you know, yesterday morning saying, uh, you know, I must be making stuff up, and you contrast that with this lovely woman here, it's a bit like seeing your favourite aunt in court on burglary charges. It's just hard to believe that someone like this has something like that in here. It's really quite outrageous. But today, tabling that infometric... Well, she didn't table the infometric... Well, Mrs King talks about porkies. What I can tell you, she spends half her time trying to corrupt her officials and the other half making statistics up. There you have it. Um, I'm trying to call... Um, 
Barbara Stewart.